Welcome back to day 46 of walking 12,000 steps and cutting to 57 kilos. Started my day by having a walk to the gym. So I'm walking to the gym and um, this lady came up to me and was like, yeah, you look very fit, you know, you, you, your running game is very good, you know. No one's ever done that before, so that validation was crazy, you know. Um, validation, I'm telling you now, validation, validation. Validation, it does feel very good. What's funny is towards the end of the day, I also went to the martial art training and sometimes people come up to me and be like, oh wow, you're looking big. But in my head, I'm like, I'm not even that big, but you know, because you see yourself every day. So anyways, the point is validation is amazing because we used to belong in tribes, etc. And also, you know, not confirming or denying this happened, but you know, if you weren't loved as a child or if you didn't feel loved, um, you will crave that validation from external sources, which is not that great. You should really have your own validation. So validation is a very, very powerful tool for um, um, manipulation. Not just manipulation, but um, there's this book, Power, for power. Actually, you know what, just, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, here I'm at the gym doing chest day. I did not do an incline chest but, uh, thing as I normally do. I actually just did um, bench press with weights with a proper grip, not a closed grip. Uh, and then I went all the way up to freaking 70 kilos, did that three times and I only weigh 58 kilos. So that was pretty good. Um, again, the one before this, I was doing um, 65 kilos and I did that eight times or 12 times or six times. So that's pretty good for 58 kilos. Right now, this 70 kilos, as I said, again, I only did it three times, but I can actually, I remember when I was like 65 kilos, I, I could actually do it like eight times. So that's what happened. I really should have fast forward this. This is very, very awkward, super awkward, uh, but let's move on. From there, I actually did dips and after the dips, I did tricep rope pull downs. As you can see, I'm just doing very lightweight. Um, I'm not a personal trainer. I don't really know technical jargon, but really I, I think what I'm doing here is doing deload where I'm not actually doing my normal routine and I'm not doing my normal weights. As so right now, I usually do weighted dips, but I'm just doing body weight dips. So I'm just taking it easy um, and having a deload so I can, you know, reset in a way um, and then after the gym I had 8,700 steps already because I went to the grocery store and had to carry all this stuff um, cook this delicious delicious beef mince tomato rice I now eat white rice which is amazing and then I'm just preparing myself for battle um, again I'm preparing myself for two hour martial art class it is what it is and um, yeah all right guys just driving to the martial art gym gonna do two hours of training today is the first thursday of the month which means it's sparring again so um hopefully i don't die i really hope i don't die um and today will probably be the last sparring i'll, I'll do in like three weeks because i'll be going to mexico as a drug cartel haha <laughs> jokes maybe maybe i'm not joking um but yeah i really hope i don't die i'll see you guys after training all right guys i'm back from two hour training one hour kickboxing one hour sparring i did not die my contacts did not fall out i survived another day and i'll see you guys on day 46 or 47 and today i walked on the clock 10,000 steps but you know after like i, I didn't wear my watch you know like as, as i walk up to the gym class or while i'm at gym so i have no doubt i, I went over 1,000 12,000 steps technically so peace